Very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and here's my question. Is there one single uh, application or software that can do things much faster and easily un in an uncomplicated way than uh, Adobe Flash Professional CS6 today? Um, yes, there is one and that's SwishMax. Uh, I wouldn't say that it can do everything that uh, Adobe Flash Pro can do, but some of the things that you need to do in uh, Adobe Flash CS6, Swish Max can do it in 10 times less the time. It's so simple, it's so uncomplicated, and the project that we're going to talk about today will prove my point. I'm going to create a play, pause, uh, stop button. Um, and uh, in doing so, it's actually a mini MP3 player, you know, it has those. Uh, uh, equalizer bars that jump up and down it'll display the uh, the track name the artist name uh, you can actually manipulate the sound volume etc uh, in such a simple and easy manner that'll it'll just uh, you know it just wins hands down the more I use swish the more I'm convinced that for certain tasks uh, swish max is a lot better than uh, Adobe flash pro especially uh, the mp3 player that we're going to construct in a moment before that let me test the file and show you what i've just done hey goes so that's a file test in flash player okay uh, let me expand this a bit right uh, people this is the play button this is the pause this is the stop button right and this is the volume control up front it's set to 75 percent let me hit the play button that's the pause button i'm gonna hit the play button once again to resume from where it left off you can see that the this is the indicator which actually tells you the progress okay now the moment I hit the stop button this progress slider is reset and goes back to the very beginning and then I can play all over again right uh, these are the you know the the track name and the artist name since I'm not aware of them I just put it as unaware and don't know this tells you the length of the music clip okay right so Yes, it's visually quite appealing. It's 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 cool. Uh, I have actually made uh, programs in um, Flash Pro where I've used the play, pause, and stop buttons, but not to the you know the amount of ease that was uh, used out here. It's 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 so very smooth. So let's see how this was actually done. Um, people. Uh, have a look out here I have this folder on the desktop uh, which I've actually named piano okay and it has this uh, mp3 music clip which is actually um, from premiumb.com and this music clip almost one and a half minutes is a, a, a royalty free piece of music right so anybody can use it and um, it does not have any copyright attached to it so we'll be using this uh, piano clip and I'll show you how easily this was done right so uh, let me say file new right and then all you need to do is guys let me show it to you see for you the outline panel may be open all you need to do is you just need to reach for the components uh, you know the tab and under the components tab you need to go down until you see multimedia or multimedia and then there's this section audio players and uh, there are three simple mp3 players this was the first one that I chosen you can see that here's the preview this is the other one okay and this is the third one all right so uh, let me pull up the first one just uh, drag it and drop it onto the stage cool and uh, let me just 
you know zoom at 100% or maybe a little more let's say 150% okay let me drop the stage size to make it uh, almost as much as the mp3 player all right that's the second thing that's entirely up to you whether you really your project really warrants that or not right let me crunch it and reach down like this let me reach the floor or the bottom and pull it up like this all right all right i'll, I'll keep some uh, whitish border all around which is fine and just click on the mp3 player make sure it's aligned vertically centrally horizontally centrally right next people what you need to do is make sure you select the mp3 player and then see you might be uh, in the properties tab at the moment you just need to switch over to the parameters tab and then you'll, you'll find all the relevant parameter parameters that you need to use okay so what we'll do is we'll open up this uh, first section general settings here you'll be needed to just enter the name or the url of the mp3 file so i i know for sure it's piano.mp3 piano.mp3 cool All right uh, <coughs> so let's say the the uh, the title is a b c right and the artist is xyz and notice the changes that are happening out here straight away simultaneously and the track let me say x y z right this is the starting volume let me in fact uh, let me go with 100 no problem the max volume okay it's asking me a question do you really want the audio to loop the song to loop or the music clip to loop yes i would want it say set it to true and then another question sure would you want it to load on start or start playing immediately the moment you hit the you know you test the movie no i would say no to that so let me turn it to false let me then save the file up file save okay i'm gonna make sure on the desktop it's gonna be saved inside the piano folder okay and uh, let me rename it piano itself let me say save right and um, then let me uh, export the swift so export swift uh, in the same folder that's very important which is the piano folder all right cool and I'm all set to test so I'm gonna say file let's say once again and file export the swift oh which I've already done I'm sorry file test in flash player right this is the preview let me just increase the size so that you can see it a lot better and let me hit the play button pause play again that's muting it let me increase the volume now that's a stop that's a play again and it loops again cool so uh, people you see uh, how easy it is to use a ready-made component in uh, swish max 4 and uh, you don't need to script it out there's no scripting at all you just need to use uh, the parameters just uh, put your own title name artist name starting volume whether you want the audio to loop whether you wanted to play you know uh, at the very start or not just answer a few questions and uh, you're done so how very simple it is um, things in life uh, which are simple and uncomplicated sometimes are not valued but i don't see any reason why you shouldn't I feel Adobe should um, sense that uh, in this area it needs to improve okay it needs to have more presets it's it needs to have uh, ideas wherein uh, the user can actually uh, instead of you know getting into getting too much into how it is done should just just get it done just do it okay straight away 
so people i hope you uh, learned and enjoyed this tutorial and i hope to see you very soon with yet another swishmax swishmax uh, 4 tutorial you have a good day guys bye bye peace